This is my H&R Partner Pump Protector 12 gauge shotgun. I've shown this shotgun in a previous video. It was my uh, budget guns or SHTF guns on a budget video. Um, at that time I had it uh, set up with a side saddle and a rail on the side which uh, is where I mounted this this light, this Surefire G2. But um, I've uh, I took all of the accessories off and put them on a friend's uh, H&R shotgun uh, to set his up essentially the same as mine. This is looking pretty stock with the exception of that uh, mag extension on the front there. That's a... actually I couldn't tell you who that's made by. I don't really remember. Um, although on the on the H&Rs this is basically a 870 knockoff so all of the Remington 870 accessories fit on this gun all all of the accessories except for uh, the barrels for the 870 do not fit on this gun because the barrel lug let's see if I got that in yeah the barrel lug on the 870 is further back uh, on the barrel so what happens here when you when you end up putting the uh, extension on uh, your extension will sit ahead of the barrel so it sticks out uh, maybe a good inch and a half past the muzzle so I just took a pipe cutter and cut it down um, and uh, inserted a uh, uh, kind of made a little stop for the inside of it for a new end cap and uh, so far it's it runs just fine and uh, it's just the finish is a little bit different uh, the parkerizing on the H&R is not as nice as the 870 so the color is a little bit different I'm not concerned about that this is a home defense shotgun and I'm gonna set it up that way so what I'm planning to do and what I did before was I put a, a tack star side saddle uh, six extra sh extra shells on the receiver goes on this opposite side here sits here uh, the problem with this particular gun the way that it is set up is that uh, this front pump actually comes and overlaps the receiver as you can see here so when this side saddle sits on here the side saddle comes to about right there and when you try to pump the shotgun it will it will run into this side saddle not allowing you to eject the spent, she uh, spent shell um, or load the next one so I have to notch this out I what I did on my last one is I just cut um, basically a corner out right here so that when you pump the shotgun it just slides right underneath the side saddle so I'll be doing that with this one as well and then I add a rail section uh, I drill out and tap it into the uh, the, the left side of the pump so that I can put my uh, surefire G2 which is just clamped in an old um, one inch scope uh, one inch scope ring and then you can just attach it right to the side of your shotgun and activate it by uh, for me since I'm a right-handed shooter my left hand is on the pump and my left thumb can come up and push the button on that tail cap to activate the light so those are the couple of things that I'm gonna do uh, to this shotgun just so that it's uh, set up for um, just for home defense it uh, it came with a swivel let's see here a sling swivel right here on the buttstock and it also came with one on the original uh, cap for the front of the uh, mag tube but when you replace it with this um, extension um, it, it eliminates that uh, sling swivel so what I'm gonna do is my friend over at uh, a prepared American.com he Earl over there has a uh, I don't remember who makes that one either I think it's a Wilson combat or uh, I'll have to double check, but he has a uh, extension tube that has a uh, sling point on it, so I can put a sling back on it. I generally don't carry, uh, I don't run a sling on my shotgun that, that I'm going to have in the house. Uh, a sling for me is just a way to put the gun out of the way so I could transition to my handgun, and the way that this shotgun's going to be set up and the purpose that it'll serve 
is if uh, something goes bump in the night and you grab the shotgun, you probably don't have time to grab a, a handgun to put on your hip as well because you'll be walking around in your undies. So um, I don't know if I will add a sling on there. It They just seem to be a hindrance uh, for that application. Um, uh, we'll just see how that works out. But if I do, I do plan on getting that uh, extension from Earl and that will also stick out and I'm going to do some uh, some shooting out at the range and see if any of the shot that exits the muzzle actually hits that extension. So if it doesn't, I may just keep it that way. Um, we'll see if it uh, makes a difference for um, uh, mag capacity. If it if it adds another shell and um, it's not getting hit by anything that's uh, being fired out of the out of this gun, then I think maybe I'll just leave it to where it uh, hangs out an inch and a half past the muzzle. Uh, my shop is a disaster so i probably will not be setting up the camera in there to walk you through what i'm doing but um the things that i will be doing aren't going to be uh super fun to watch anyway i'm just literally just cutting this out and then drilling and tapping uh the pump for this uh, rail section so i'll just show you guys what i did um, once it's done do a little bit of explanation and um I'll see you guys when that's finished. I am planning on replacing this buttstock. You know, it has the just a fixed buttstock on it. Uh, I plan on replacing it with a uh, telescoping buttstock with a pistol grip. And the reason that I plan on doing that is just for the um, ability to adjust the length of pull. So if my wife picks up this gun, she can adjust that buttstock so that she can shoulder it and uh, not have any problems with uh, reaching the trigger or um, uh, just with the distance from her shoulder uh, compared to my shoulder. So that'll be one thing I, I will not be doing right now. I haven't picked one up yet. Um, I'm, I'm gonna decide on which, uh, which stock to go with. And when I uh, make that change, I'll show you guys that as well. Thanks for watching.